Hello. Um, I wanted to talk about something that I think is absolutely ridiculous. Um, there's a song that came out a couple years ago and it was like, break up with your boyfriend because I'm bored. And people were like losing their shit and I just like wanted to remind you what Avril Lavigne did 10 years ago with the song Girlfriend. Because she did it first, I guess, for our generation and like, um, you guys pretty much told us that was normal. So, like, all the Britney stuff and all the Avril Lavigne stuff and Lindsay Lohan stuff, like, that was our generation. And, like, you treated all of those women so terribly. And, like, you forgot what you forced them to do. <laughs> like, you forced Britney Spears to work with R. Kelly. Of course, she shaped her fucking head, you guys. Like, obviously that makes sense now. Let's see. This is Avril. <laughs> Oh. I wonder if this was her idea. you wrapped around my finger cause I can cause I can do it better there's no weather no what are you thinking I, 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 you my friend. like who the hell <laughs> thinks that um let's see like did Avril write that no Avril Levine's official music video for girlfriend as featured on the Best Damn Thing uh, album. Lyrics. Hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your girlfriend. No way, no way, I think you need a new one. Hey, hey, you, you, I could be your girlfriend. Hey, hey, you, you, I know that you like me. No way, no way, you know that it's a, that's, you know it's not a secret. Hey, hey, you, you, I want to be your girlfriend. Avril Lavigne, <laughs> like, and like, there's rumors about how Avril Lavigne is like cloned, and that's fucking ridiculous. Like, you guys made her do that video and write music like that, and then she married the lead singer of Nickelback, you guys. Like, why is any of that Avril's fault? Like, that fucking woman's been through hell and back and she made Skater Boy. Like, let's watch Skater Boy. Skater Boy's the best. Skater Boy was my life. Like, I used to sing this shit with my mom. <laughs> In the car. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at the frame rate. Look at that. How it's spelt. Yeah, boy. March 10th, 2010. Ten years ago. Do you remember? He was a skater boy, she said see you later boy, he wasn't good enough for her. Now he's a superstar, slamming on your his guitar, does your pretty face see what he's worth? He was a skater boy, she said see you later boy, he wasn't good enough for her. Now he's a superstar, slamming on his guitar, does your pretty face see what he's worth? Like, the most anti-feminist music ever came out in 2010 and um like that's yeah like the comments are bad he was a punk she did ballet 
What a K-drama. This is like the most 2000s, 2000s video I've ever seen. He was a weather boy. She said, wouldn't you let, like to know the weather boy? <laughs> that was another era, sadly never to return to again. Yes. Teenagers nowadays don't even know who this badass girl was. Ten years ago, I wanted to be Avril Lavigne. Also, 22-year-old me still wants to be as cool as Avril. Relatable. 2002, the song is awesome. 2010, the song is still awesome. 2020, nostalgia. 4,556. Alright class, we will open up to page 100 on our history books. The golden days of music. Who else misses when songs used to tell a story? He was a gator boy, she said I'm horribly addicted to opioids. This was not in my recommendation, I searched for the song. Back when teenagers wanted to look like Avril, not Kim. <laughs> I remember we used to get bullied if we wanted to wear a tie, because um, Avril wore ties. Do you guys remember that? Do you remember, um, I remember my cousin, she was wearing a tie to school, and she did it first, like, she did it, and then it came out in a fucking music video, and she got bullied about it, because she was copying Avril Lavigne, like. So what? <laughs> like, let us live, like, that was ten years ago, and you guys so remember bullying other girls about it. I remember, like, Avril was, like, a feminist anti-feminist about like yeah you can do whatever you want but like fuck that bitch and like we kind of needed that <laughs> and um, I don't think we need anything close to what that kind of music is today because that was a terrible message but uh, uh like that was ten years ago like I don't know man Avril was pretty cool, like, she was, like, she was ahead of her time. Like, that was nine years ago, she did Smile. Like, that's when Fall Out Boy was out, Paramore was out, Bowling for Soup was out. Like, Bowling for Soup 1985 was amazing. And, like, My Chemical Romance was huge back then, like, all of these were our idols and like Britney and Lindsay tried music and like the Olsen twins never made it out like I'm so confused like all of these Disney kids nowadays who are like coming forward like what happened with Demi Lovato like and Selena Gomez and like they have men medical issues and like mental health like amazing abilities and like they're cast in such a negative light the same way Britney and Lindsay and the Olsen twins were and like it's so gross to see it as an adult today because I went through the same thing like this was my idol man took one look and now we're not the same yeah you said hey and since that day you stole my heart and you're the one to blame is anyone else having an Avril Lavigne marathon right now <laughs> two months ago there's a comment 2020 corona period quarantine <laughs> 2011. I want Avril's teeth. 2020. I still want Avril's teeth. The chorus has so many E and Y sounds in it, you automatically smile when singing. See? <laughs> Fun fact. The only people who didn't smile while listening to this are severely depressed or they are dead. I mean, 
Yes. I feel like if you were severely depressed and this is remotely triggering, there's no way you could possibly smile about it. Like, this was 10 years ago. I don't know where people were 10 years ago in their life when they heard this song. And, um, like, name recall, like, music recall is the same thing. Like, there's so many times where, like, let's just say, for example, your first time was over a certain song. Every time you hear that song, you'll think of your first time. Like, this is the same concept. So, like, it's really hard for a lot of people with mental health conditions because these people don't really exist anymore in the same light that they did back then, like, it's kind of sucks, like, Haley Kiyoki came out five years ago with Girls Like Girls, and, like, where's, like, what's going on with Haley Kiyoki now, like, I don't, like, um, Zolita is, um, uh, linked, and, like, Zolita is, like, a pedo term, and I don't love, I don't love that, like, I, really don't but like I get it the girls make out my grandma they seem like close friends yeah that's essentially what grandmas are like this was so relatable
I got emotional. <laughs> um, I wasn't Haley. I was um, I was the girl in the relationship. <laughs> um, I didn't know what was going on. Me. And I liked my friends, and like I felt like I had to be with my boyfriend, and like I didn't have a choice. And when that song came out, it like it gave me a reason to have one. And it's so powerful. Like I can't imagine what other songs are doing for other people right now in that same thing. Um, so yeah, cool. <laughs> you got to see me cry. <laughs>